Hi, welcome to Sean's Game Academy. Module 1, Getting Started. To make your own game, the first thing you need to know is how Scratch works. So let's start by taking a look at the layout and controls of Scratch. Launch the project and let's have a look around. This is the scripts panel. This is where we add all the code that tells the game objects what to do. The different coloured titles are menus for code controls. Motion is for code that moves your objects. Sounds, add sounds. Looks, change the visual look of the game. We'll use lots of different types of scripts in Sean's Game Academy. If you want, have a look through now and guess what they do. At the top of the game area, you have the controls to start and stop your game. The green flag starts the game and the red dot stops the game. Now let's look at making a moving block that we can control. Launch the project and let's get started. This block will control all the movement of your character in the game. This is the costumes tab where you can draw game sprites. Select vector mode which makes editing objects easier. This is in the bottom right of the screen. Draw a box on the centre spot using the draw rectangle tool, about the same size as this. We now have a new black rectangle, or Sprite 1. Next, select the Scripts tab and let's add some scripts to this block. Make sure you have Sprite 1 selected and the Scripts tab open. Now, drag and drop a when clicked block from the Events section of the menu. Remember that the green flag starts the game playing, so this block starts the scripts working. It's quite an important first block. Now, drag a forever loop from the control section of the menu. Drag this into scripts and attach it to the when clicked block you've already placed. If you hover over, it should light up the previous block and show you where to place it. Next, we need to add a change x by block. This is in the motion section of the menu. Have a look down the list and see if you can find it. Then drag it into the forever loop. Click the green flag to test your project. The block should whiz off to the right. So why does this happen? Well, what these scripts are saying is, when the game starts, and you've clicked the green flag, move the sprite along the x-axis. Now let's add controls. Hang on, why does it go to the right? What is this x-axis business about? Scratch and other coding platforms don't really think in left, right, up and down. They work with either the x-axis, left and right, or the y-axis, up and down. A positive number on the x-axis makes an object move right and a negative number makes the object move left. Positive number on the y-axis moves an object up and a negative number moves the object down. More movement. What we have done is added keyboard controls from the sensing tab in the scripts. What the code now says is when the green flag is clicked if the left arrow key on the keyboard is pressed move the sprite left forever and if the right arrow is pressed, move the sprite right forever. These character controls are used in simple games. In fact, the legendary game Pac-Man uses these very same controls. Well done. You've now coded and controlled a game character. Now it's time to play test. When you make a game, it's important to keep testing your scripts so you can spot your mistakes and change things. Feel free to experiment and add up and down controls too. Experimenting is the best way to learn new scripting skills. OK, we've created our controllable character block. Now we want to attach Sean the Sheep. 